In this next question here, we want to determine an equation for the depth of the water in relation to the time uh, elapsed in hours. So if you recall, our graph looked something like this. Just draw it in here. Um, started at zero, came up, came down, and then up and down. And this high tide at 2 p.m. was 8 meters. Eight hours later at 10, it was at the low tide. And that was 2 meters. And then eight hours again after that, which is 18 hours, it was again at 8. Middle is going to go through here, which is going to be, in this case, um, what do we have? Five. Okay, that goes through the middle. So now let's determine what equation we're going to use. Now, you may recall there's four which we usually choose from. Um, I'm going to use the cosine function, which starts from the top, goes down, and then up again, uh, simply because just fix this up simply because I mean if you look at the graph that we have it starts here goes down and then comes back up in other words it's basically our cosine function shifted over to the right by two two hours okay so our h value is just going to be uh, minus two again when we're shifting right we do minus so my equation, let's do h of t, is going to be negative a, we'll figure out a later, times cos, times b, bracket, t minus h, which at this point you should already know that it's uh, 2 for h, and then we have plus k. So let's see what we can fill in, the a value, our amplitude. Oh, my apologies, it's not a negative, it's going to be a positive one. Otherwise, that would start from the bottom. So our amplitude, that is the A value, what is the distance between 5 and 8? Well, that's just going to be 3. So I have 3 times cos. The B value will be 360 divided by the period, which is 18. Uh, sorry, no, 16. And if you have a chance, just get on your computer and do 360 divided by 16, that gives us 22.5. So I'll have 22.5 for my B value, and then T minus two, because we're shifting over two units, plus the middle, which is five, because we've moved the middle over here up five units from the base. So. Um, our height is given by that equation, and we now want to use it to determine the depth of the water at 5 p.m. So I'm going to go h of 5 equals 3 times cosine 22.5, 5 minus 2, plus 5. What does that give us? 3 times cosine of... 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 times 22.5, that will be 60 plus 2.5, 2.5, so that'll be 67.5 plus 5. And let me just take a look here at what we get. It's going to give me 3 times 0 0.382 plus 5, which will give me 6.14. And there we go. So, at 5 p.m., which will be, which would be right around here, the time is 6.14, yeah, it's around the right area. It looks right to me. Anyway, if you want to verify that, maybe do the calculation again. 
Um, see if it works, but it looks good. 